Kristen Oaks White. And I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. There's a festival in Louisiana that does not involve cotton candy, Ferris wheels, or Cajun food. Now, if that sounds like it's for the birds, it is. The Yellow Rails and Rice Festival is one of our state's unique affairs that combines the love of bird watching with the love of agriculture. As well as Nima Lawson tells us, it might not be for everyone, but it does bring people in from all over the world. It's time to harvest the second crop of rice here in Jeff Davis Parish, but this combine isn't loaded up to do much harvesting today. Here at Kevin Birkin's farm near Thornwell, what they're bringing in is birders from all over the world. Uh, this year the birders have come from 30 states and four different countries. Uh, Mexico, Canada, uh, Germany, and England. So. Birkin is the founder of the Yellow Rails and Rice Festival. The small bird loves to hide in the dense underbrush the rice crop provides. Even when a giant combine comes along, it only flies out fast enough to pop out and pop back in another field. Did you catch it? Let me show you again. It's faster than even I could follow at the time, but when birders do spot one, it's a lifelong dream for some. They come all around to just to see this yellow rail, which is prevalent in our second crop harvest. Except whenever we get four inches of rain, they don't like the water. But other than that, they're here, and, um, and, and it's a bucket list bird for the birders. Andrea Patterson drove from New York just to see one. It's a long way. <laughs> Even though Louisiana is a new experience for Patterson and other birders, they do get familiar with the area and often stick around. Um, we're going to go down birding um, closer to the coast, I think, in a couple of days, and I don't know if we have any target birds there. I'm vermilion flycatcher maybe down at Lacassine, but um, here at the festival I think just any of the other rails would be great. It might be hard for some around South Louisiana to understand why such a common sight would drive people here, but it is a unique experience outside Louisiana. One of the other attractions at this festival is a banding workshop, which gives people a chance to work with experienced bird catchers. Well, one of the things I do back in New York is um, we catch wild birds and we band them and we age them. And so I wanted to come and learn more about the kinds of birds that we don't catch in New York. Um, and just get some different experiences. Farmers like Birkin are getting something out of it too. Not only are they learning about the yellow rail, but they're passing on an important message about agriculture. They are as interested in the rice as they are in the birds. They are as interested to ride on the combine as they are in the birds. So it's a win-win for us. It's an opportunity for us to be able to tell them what's going on uh, uh, with the rice industry. They go back to their birding clubs. They talk to about rice and rice farming to all their birding clubs, you know, and sometimes things that go on in Washington really affect us. So they know legislators, uh, you know, throughout their groups and whatnot. So uh, I think it's something that's a win for all of us. The Yellow Rails and Rice Festival is held every November. They do have a website and we'll link it to ours on twilatv.org. Now, some of you might remember Kevin from this past August when I interviewed him as Hurricane Harvey was making its way through rice country. He had just finished his first harvest and was hopeful he'd make up ground on the second or a tune crop. I talked to him about it at the festival and here's what he had to say. From what I'm hearing, again, they're off um, probably, but it's, it's good. I, my medium grain is off more than I had hoped. Uh, some of the long grain to people that I'm talking to is off. Uh, it's not as good as they would like, um, but I'm not sure it's ever that way with us farmers, <laughs> but it, it's not quite as good as you'd like. So, uh, I mean, we're, we're hopeful again for next year. We're all always cautiously optimis optimistic, and uh, next year we'll, we'll be that year, man. <laughs> One thing that can help farmers like Kevin stay in business is to eat more Louisiana rice. That will also keep tourist dollars coming into our state and spending them where we need it most, our small towns. And guys, you know, this is one of those agritourism projects that just seems like a win-win. And of course, as you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. it's not a festival like a, you know, carnival kind of atmosphere. Right. But really, I mean, there were people from Germany and as you saw in North Carolina and Michigan and New York. and. Kevin is really doing a great job telling those people, look, if you like this activity, 
go home and eat more rice because that helps keep our fields in rice and it keeps those birds coming. And you have to think about how much like conservation programs have played into bringing back some of these waterfowl, Certainly. bringing back the whooping crane. Right, exactly. And a lot of the people there, the lady I talked to from New York was there with her daughter and she was going to spend two or three days around southern Louisiana looking at stuff and I brought up Avery Island, you know, they mm -hmm. have the rookery there and so, you know, they're they're here and they're spending those those dollars, we just got to keep them here. Well, it's certainly an interesting festival and it made a great story. Neil Malasson, thanks.